Decisions, decisions, decisions. Go left or go right. In programming, we use an if statement when we want the code to make a decision. Before we jump into details on if statements, here are a few basics to keep in mind when working with JavaScript. The JavaScript basic building blocks include declarations to define variables, as we saw in the prior video, statements, which are the instructions, and block statements, which are used to group a set of instructions. The block is delimited with curly braces. Every declaration and statement ends with a semicolon. Block statements do not. Notice that there are no semicolons after our closing curly braces here in our blocks. Define comments with two slashes, as shown here. Comments are ignored when the script is run, but they are useful for us humans reading the code. In JavaScript, if is a block statement. It begins with the if keyword, then parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we define the conditions for the if statement to make its decision. This is called the decision criteria. In this first example, the decision criteria is a single variable. This is shorthand syntax for, is this variable truthy? What does truthy mean? We'll talk about that in a moment. Inside the first if statement, we have a second decision. In this second example, the decision criteria asks if the value in the variable guess equals the value in the variable random number. Notice the triple equal. In JavaScript, a single equal is an assignment, as shown here. A double equal is equality, basically comparing the variable values to determine if they are equal. If the variables are of different types, it attempts to convert them to the same type before comparing. A triple equal is strict equality, meaning the two variables must exactly match, including their values and their data type. We use the triple equal in this example because we want an exact match. Both variables must be a number and must be the same number. The if block body is enclosed in curly braces. This is the body for our outer if statement. Inside the curly braces is one or more statements. These statements will run if the decision criteria, included in the parentheses, is true. If there is a guess entered, we get the guess value as a number. And if that number is strictly equal to the random number, we set the feedback variable to correct, you win. The if block supports both an else and an else if. If the prior decision criteria is false, then the else if decision criteria is evaluated. Its if block only runs if its decision criteria evaluates to true. The else block is only run if the prior decision criteria evaluates to false. Let's look at this as a flowchart. On the flowchart, the decision criteria is shown as a diamond. If the user's guess exactly matches the random number, the decision criteria is true, and we set the feedback to correct you win. If the if statement decision criteria is false, the else if decision criteria is evaluated. If the user's guess is larger than the random number, the else if decision criteria is true, and we set the feedback to too high. If the else if condition criteria is false, we set the feedback to too low. In these if statements, it's clear when the decision criteria is true or false. The guess is exactly the same as the random number, or it isn't. The guess is greater than the random number, or it isn't. It's more difficult in the first example. How do we know if guess input is true or false? JavaScript has a unique sense of true and false, called truthy and falsy. Truthy and falsy are used when evaluating decision criteria that isn't clearly true or false. False is, of course, falsy. Zero and two quotes, which is an empty string, are falsy. Null, undefined, and nan, which stands for not a number, are also falsy. Any other values are truthy. 
Let's look at some examples. Here, guess hasn't been initialized, so it's undefined and falsy. If we set guess to zero, it's still falsy. If guess is an empty string, it's falsy. Null, it's falsy. Basically, if the variable doesn't contain an actual non-empty value, it's falsy, and the code within the if block is not run. If we set the variable to a number that is not zero, or to a non-empty string, it's truthy, and the code in the if block is run. Want to try this out? Let's try out some if statements and see the result of truthy and falsy decision criteria. We still have VS Code on the left with our guess a number folder open, and the page is running in the browser on the right with the developer tools open. Before we begin, let's delete some of this code to reduce the logging displayed in the console. We'll delete all but the variable declarations and the one console.log that displays the guess. Now let's try out an if statement. If the user's guess exactly matches a random number, we'll log a message to the console. We start with the if keyword. Note that all of JavaScript is case sensitive, including the keywords. So if the keyword is lowercase, it must be typed as lowercase. Then we add parentheses to define our decision criteria. We'll check whether the user's guess, as stored in the guess variable, is equal to 12 using the double equals. Next, we add curly braces for the if block. Inside the curly braces, we'll use console.log to log out, you win. Looking at the browser, no new message appears. That's because the guess variable value is currently undefined. So let's add an else block. After the end of the if block, we add an else. Then we add curly braces for the else block. Inside the curly braces, we'll again use console.log and log out try again. And now we see a message in the console. Let's assign the guess variable to 12 for the win. And we see the message in the console. We win, yay! But what if the data types don't match? Let's change the number 12 to a string using either double or single quotes. And we still win. What do you think will happen if we change the double equals to triple equals? If you said, try again, you are right. Since the triple equals is strict equality, it requires that both the value and the data type match. Let's take off the quotes, and we win again. Next, let's look at what truthy and falsy do for us here. Start by deleting the triple equal 12 from the if statement, and just leaving the variable as the decision criteria. Is the guess variable truthy or falsy? It's truthy because it's not one of the falsy values we defined on the slide. So we see you win. Let's change the guess variable to null. Null is falsy, so we see try again. How about an empty string? An empty string is also falsy, so the message is try again. What could we do to try out nan or not a number? Let's use the built-in number function to convert a string to a number. Type number and parentheses. Then pass in the word 10 as a string. In the console, we see that the guess is now nan since the string is not a number and try again because nan is falsy. Now let's delete the variable assignment. Recall the value of a variable that's declared but not set? It's undefined as we can see in the console. Undefined is falsy, so we again fall through to the else condition and see try again. Lastly, let's change the declaration to assign a value of 8. And we're a winner! So is truthy and falsy a bit more clear? Let's leave our setup the way it is and jump back to the slides. So, use an if statement to make a decision in the code. An if is a block statement and the block is defined within curly braces. We define the decision criteria in parentheses. Add statements inside the block. The statements inside the block are run if the decision criteria evaluates to true. Optionally, add an else block with curly braces. 
The statements inside the else block are run if the decision criteria evaluates to false. When defining decision criteria, it's important to set the appropriate comparison. A single equal in JavaScript assigns a value to a variable. It should not be used in decision criteria. The two equal signs operator compares the values to see if they are equal. If the values are not the same data type, it tries to convert them before checking for equality. The three equal signs operator strictly compares the values to see if they are equal. If they are not the same data type, they are not equal. And be mindful of JavaScript's rules for truthy and falsy, especially when defining decision criteria. Let's look at JavaScript functions next. Don't be iffy. Like and subscribe.